Saw X, which is Saw 10, which I was confused why it was called 10 because Spiral made it seem like it was a spinoff. They said like from the book of Saw. I'm like, okay, so that's like a separate thing. But now it's included as a part nine. I'm very confused. Uh, because mm. Fast X wasn't Fast 11. It didn't include Hobbs and Shaw. These are two comparable franchises, by the way. Uh, but yeah, Saw X. Uh, I've been going through the films again. The last time I watched it was right before Spiral. Uh, I used to really not like the Saw movies. Because mm. I thought they thought they were smarter than they were. And the fans were kind of annoying. But now that I'm less bitter in my oh, twilight shit. years um i returned back to them like you know these were a lot of fun uh i really enjoy these uh and yeah, now there's a new they're, one they're like the fast and the furious equivalent of a seven you know like they're the dumb yeah of seven. they really are yeah. <laughs> if fast and the furious is ripping off point break so right. is ripping off seven <laughs> <laughs> um uh yeah so uh gil what did you think of saw x I thought it was a solid Saw movie. I mean, it did the Saw thing where for every, creative traps where you you feel like I can't look away, but I don't want to look. Uh, even though some of the traps felt a little bit unfair, they would always go one extra step where it's like cut your leg off, but then also suck out enough bone marrow onto the scale. So it always yeah. felt like there's no way they can get it on time. But uh, overall enjoyed it. I. A couple bones to pick with it. I thought the no. first nice. I was trying to think where can I work Gil into this? It's like every time they they no, it's not going to work. So the first half hour, <laughs> it's it felt kind of slow to me because he's going to get this miracle surgery that we know is not going to work. So you yeah. know exactly where it's going. So you're kind of just waiting for to get to the point. Uh, I, Gil, I beg yeah. to differ. I I didn't know this was like taking place in between Saad two or something i thought yeah, it was actually i thought this was all new shit because i never watched saw like <laughs> four five six or nine well, so well adam he died he at died the end like of three six movies so ago. he can't get better oh, sorry do horror people not come back in their movies like <laughs> not I, in this I, universe I, there I, isn't I, a supernatural I, element in this I universe just assumed by the ninth they brought him back using some voodoo magic or some shit <laughs> but he still had the cancer so, and, and also he doesn't look like a spring chicken and neither does okay the, Neither does the woman he's with. Okay, okay. Go I don't ahead. know what you're Sorry, talking about. Adam, Sorry. Adam, are you telling me that these <laughs> two pictures are 20 years apart? Are you telling me that these oh two God. actors look different than they did 20 years ago in this movie that's <clears throat> supposed to be in 2004? Yeah, you're telling I, me there's a difference here. No, they're the same. They're yeah. The same. Yeah, I think it worked out great. They it gave him a great, beard. Yeah. The haircut flawless on the on the actress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a wig close to what she mm -hmm. wore, and you know her cheeks are a little different. Maybe she got like lipo that week. <laughs> I don't know. Just that week. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think they look exactly the same. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I do know no, the, the, the comparison is uh, an in movie photo and then one where they're like eating sandwiches between scenes. I couldn't <laughs> find a picture of them from the movie where they're both facing the camera. Like I really looked, but every single picture he's like on his side or it's her side profile. Like, God damn it. Um, real quick, Joey, we're going to get to you. Uh, I do want to say. Uh, I think I was talking to Gil about this beforehand. Mm -hmm. What they, or no, I actually might have said this to you, Joey, tomorrow, uh, yesterday. Uh, if the movie started, I would have preferred if the director just came on the screen and just went, hey guys, we didn't feel like digitally de aging them. Just pretend this is 20 years ago. And I would have been like, you know what? Good job. Thank yeah. you. You know what? I will go in with that mentality. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Joey, what did you think of Saul 10? Yeah, Jeepers Creepers 3 level de-aging right there. <laughs> All right. I had high expectations because the movie was super hyped and everyone was talking about it on X. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it delivered. I really enjoyed it. The traps were scary as hell. The uh, this, this isn't a spoiler or anything, but the brain surgery trap was wild. Mm -hmm. And then the leg one that you were talking about, Gil, was absolutely disgusting. It was kind of a wild ride with john like you feel bad for him and then there's the relapsing and then going back to his old ways i really dug that 
And I really dug the power trip between John and Cecilia. That was really cool. Um, although I, I felt like I could figure out the plot twist in 20 minutes or so. Um, and I was just kind of like waiting for it to happen after that. I don't know if like anybody else had that thought while we, while you were watching it, but yeah, it was, it was pretty easy to pick up on. Um, Adam, what did you think of Saul X? Uh, I enjoyed it as well. And this is from someone that doesn't really like the Saw movies. Not really my cup of tea. But uh, I thought this had a nice balance, had a good runtime. I like that they tried to humanize a terrible, totally horrible person. That made me feel good. <laughs> that they, we spent a half hour humanizing a guy that's like a total pile of shit. They've tried know. to humanize him in a ton of movies. But yeah, this really, is it was weird. <laughs> but, but but it, it kind of worked somehow. It kind of worked in this. The only I think the only criticism because you guys touched on all the good things. I thought the gore was great. The traps were awesome. The only thing is, I, I thought it ended really badly, where they kind of like walk off into the sunset, like they're heroes. That was weird. Yeah. Well, 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 Adam. Most Saw movies end with a door being closed, mm. and this one ends with a door being open. Do you have a door <laughs> opening sound, Gil? Uh <laughs> Like always, it'll be like a few minutes from now. I'll be like, wait a minute, let's redo this. <laughs> um, you didn't see it. I was just I, about I, to ask you, and I'm like, wait, she didn't I, see it. Uh, I do have a question, though. What? Wow, that was an Get a little part. closer. Okay, don't I'm, touch I'm, it, though. <laughs> so I want to know, because I, I don't hate the first one, but is the second one, would you say this is, everyone says the first one's the best, and they said this is the best one after the first is that agreed uh that collective agreement i'm not done watching them the first two are probably the best I uh i need to rewatch the other ones because some of the newer ones are okay uh i will say so this one john kramer jigsaw is the main character mm -hmm. which hasn't been done before like he is they've gone into his backstory and everything we've learned a lot about this character but it's never really told from his point of view you're never with him the whole movie uh, it's either, you know, we get a couple story beats with him and then it's just his voice introducing the traps and everything. Um, so that was kind of unique to see him, you know, interacting with this. And it is based that on the knowledge that, you know, the later films, cause it's just telling you that he has accomplices. Uh, they left out his third accomplice, which I thought was interesting. The one who was introduced way later. But they have the guy from like, you know, the uh, four, five, and six. They have Amanda, obviously, is back because she was like a fan favorite. Um, yeah, I, I was just unique to see a movie told from his point of view. Uh, I will say the first trap, the one that he's imagining, because they have an imaginary <laughs> trap. So weird. I, I think it was just because they were like, shit, we don't have a trap till way later in this <laughs> That's film. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. Because you notice the trap didn't even kill the guy, and usually they're meant to kill. Yeah. But it's like, you need to, and I really relate. We're looking at a picture of it right now, yeah. actually. They were like, you need to either break your fingers or your eyes will be sucked out. And I'm telling you right now, before he finished, I would have broken all my fingers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what was wrong with this. Video. Why, why was he turning it so why slowly? Why was he making just... a meal out of yeah. it? Just fucking snap them all at right. once. Yeah. That's, he's like, that's the ah! In the, that the very beginning, he's thinking? a mat. Yeah. It doesn't really happen. He's imagining it. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, how is that like a hard decision to even figure out? I don't, like, know. I don't get it. I don't know. But um, so in a later movie, when he's talking to the detective, who's one of his ac uh, accomplices, um, he tells him, like, never make it personal, even though the first person he technically killed canonically was a guy who caused the miscarriage of his son. But, you know, mm. he's like, never make it personal. And in this movie, I'm like, OK, I know you're trying to justify it. Like, oh, we got to they're scamming people. It's like, but this is definitely personal. You can probably find a lot of people scamming people, but you're going after these people because they screwed you over. Right. Uh, although it was a little weird because, again, he is a main character. So usually in the traps, it's just the little puppet. But here he's just showing them his face. He's like hanging out with them. He's like talking to them directly. And then like, um, I, I get at this point, I think they know John Kramer is the killer, but then you get like Amanda and even the detective at the little tag at the end, not wearing a mask or anything. It's like, well, what if they survive? They're going to be able to find you. So I thought that was a little odd. Uh, you're right. The ending was a little a bit of a letdown when it comes to the one character, but mm -hmm. overall, I think it's one of the better Saul movies. 
de-aging aside, the age difference aside, I think it was pretty solid. Uh, any last words about Saw X, Gil? Uh, I did think making him the protagonist does have a weird side effect of making this movie not really a horror. It mm -hmm. turns it more into this weird revenge thriller. Yeah. Because the first one, there's a mystery of why are these people locked up here? What did they do wrong? Did, are they actually horrible people who deserve this? Here, right from the beginning, we know these people are awful, and it's literally just him getting revenge on them. It was really strange. Yeah, it mm. felt almost more like a Taken movie where he has a unique set of skills. <laughs> to take, out the, take out the scammers. Oh my God, it is like Taken now that I think about it. It's just Taken, yeah. Or like John uh, Wick. We yeah, fucked exactly. the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There was that one part I laughed so hard because my brothers and I recently have gotten very into scam baiting YouTube videos. Have you guys mm. ever gone down yes. this rabbit hole? Yeah. Yeah. And it's what always is like you have to go buy gift cards. And so oh, yeah. we're like, he's getting scammed and we were making jokes about it. And then he goes and buys a gift card. We were all laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they kind of make him a dipshit, don't they? Yeah. Like, uh... <laughs> um, Joey, what's your final thought? I enjoyed it. Scared me. Didn't sleep for days. Wow. What the fuck? You're, very, very, you're a manly one. Very, are you okay? No, I, I am <laughs> fine. It was, you see my very beautiful wife couldn't sleep because she also watched it um oh, you're, I, you're, married to, you're married to grimace i feel like he's losing the plot no she's over there she honey i'll be right there i'm, I'm <laughs> okay. right here get the well, well, ready. ready congratulations yeah. joey for getting married and not inviting me to the oh, wedding i, I would have preferred to have been there um adam what's your final thought on saw x i, I enjoyed saw X Saw Ten. It's probably my third favorite Saw film out of the, the three third one you've Saw seen. films I've seen. <laughs> but uh, you know, I think they're fun. They're fun watches. Yeah, those ones. I did see part of one that had a bunch of pigs getting slaughtered. I don't know where that was at in the timeline. Oh, that was three. That was three. three. Was that yeah. three? Oh, there was like a bunch of dead pigs. Yeah, I saw part um, of that one. Yeah, uh, I will say um, it's interesting they circle back to John because Jigsaw twenty seventeen like introduced a new killer who was another like apprentice of jigsaw who like i guess the other ones didn't know about so I'm like oh i guess he'll be the new killer and then spiral introduced the idea that oh there there are gonna now be copycats that don't mm. even know john like they know jigsaw but they had no relationship to him so you can keep this franchise going forever. It'll just be like, I have a bone to pick with you, and I like what this dead guy did, so I'm just going to steal his shtick. Uh, so I thought it was interesting they circled back to John Kramer when it looks like they were trying to go in a new direction. They eventually have to go in that new direction because he's not getting any younger. Hmm. Um, but yeah, that was it for Saw X. Let's uh, take a mini break here and look at some super chats, why don't we?